let's talk about standard unit vectors. Now, when you hear standard, think about standard form. A standard unit vector in the direction of the x-axis. So that means that the magnitude here is one, and I'm going in this direction. So this in component form obviously is to the right one up and down zero. And we call that vector i. So if I talk about i, I'm talking about a standard unit vector in the direction of the positive x-axis. Wait for it, there's gotta be more. Yeah, there is. If I go up this way and I have a unit vector, so this is a unit vector and I'm having a magnitude of one, I go up one to that point one zero. Well, this vector has the component form back and forth zero and up one and we call that vector j. So a standard unit vector in the direction of the positive y-axis is known as j. i, negative, sorry, i, one, zero, j, zero, one. Unfortunately, you see this curvy i we use with complex imaginary numbers. So we've learned that in the past. If it's a straight up and down i, then we're talking about a standard unit vector in the direction of the positive x-axis and not that square root of negative one. Well, if vector v can be written as v1 comma v2, where v1 is its x component or horizontal component, and v2 is its y component or vertical component, we call that component form. Well, this v can be written as v1 times one zero and we're going to add to that v2 times zero one it's a true statement we can write it like that so v is equal to v1 i plus v2 j what i do i just replaced one zero with i and zero one with j we call this form with i's and j's linear combination. It's just a notation thing here. Component form, vector v is 3, 4. That's v1, v2. In linear combination form, that same information will be conveyed as v is equal to 3i plus 4j. Notice the comma became a plus and then we added the i's and j's and we dropped the crimp brackets. They mean the same thing. Just get used to the fact that this can be written like this and this can be written like this. Let u be a vector with initial point 2, negative 5 and terminal point negative 1, 3. So write u as a linear, linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j. All right, so this is a very simple problem. Let's first find out what vector u is. We know that vector u will be our x final, which is negative one, minus x initial, comma, y final, which is three, minus y initial, which is negative five. Notice, I am saying this because they tell me this is my terminal point. So final minus initial, final minus initial in both the x and y directions. So u is equal to negative three comma, three minus a negative five is the same as three plus five is eight. That is our component form. So u would be negative three i plus eight j in our linear combination form. Not hard at all. Now, what does this look like? If our initial point here is over two down five, here is negative two, five, and our terminal point is negative one, three, then we are expecting to go to the left and up. And we are, we're going to the left, negative three, and up eight to wind up at that point. So the sketch matches what we thought. And here's the big leap now. Understand that in component form, negative three comma eight for u1, u2 becomes negative three i plus eight j. It's a small leap, but an important one just to make sure you've got correctly down in your brain. 
vector operations. Let vector u equal negative 3i plus 8j, and let vector v equal 2i minus j. Find the resultant vector negative 2u minus 3j. Well, no, not negative 2, but rather 2. This is 2 times negative 3i plus 8j minus 3 times, we said that vector v was 2i minus j. Now, look what happens here. This is, in fact, distribution. Negative 6i plus 16j, careful, you've got a negative there, minus 6i plus 3j. You've got to be careful. Negative times positive is negative, but negative times negative is positive. Now, to free, find my resultant vector, I'm going to add my i's, negative 12i, and I'm going to add my j's. 16 plus 3 is 19j. Now, there is my vector 2u minus 3v. Of course, that's how they wanted it in linear combination form. 2u minus 3v would be negative 12, 19 in component form. Not a big jump.